Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to step one of a six step process to get you started with Cinemaker. Now, if you wanna harness the power of an all-in-one multi-camera app, well, you're gonna need to start by downloading and installing it, which might seem obvious, but there's a couple of layers to this. Really, there are three layers of downloading and installing that you might need. And the first is the Cinemaker Director Studio, which is available on Mac or iPad. So the Cinemaker Director Studio is your main interface for being able to connect and control all the cameras and everything that you need for using Cinemaker. Now, all you need to do, hit new session, and quickly you'll see how some of the cameras start to pop in. And technically, welcome to my studio where we are literally using the power of Cinemaker, iPhones, iPads, DSLRs, and everything that we need to do to record this very video. Now, chances are, if you're already watching this video, you already have the Cinemaker Director app. But in case you don't, you can always go to cinemaker.com and download it right from there or find it on the App Store. And getting started requires nothing fancy. In fact, all you probably need is your FaceTime camera on your Mac or an iPhone. Which brings me to my second point. Now the round two of downloads is about getting the Cinemaker Capture app. Because if you've got the Director Studio, now you need to bring in your camera angle. So that works on your iPhone or on an iPad that you can download exclusively on the Apple Store. Now what that means is you can use your iPhones, your iPads, and of course, a DSLRs if you really need to bring in that multi-camera magic. But if you wanna share your screen and do it in an unwired way, well, then you're gonna to have to go to round three of downloads, which is Cinio. Cinio is simple. It's enabling you to bring in wirelessly your screen share to your Cinemaker production. That means one of your angles can actually be your screen and you could swap to and from easily. Now, before we go on to step two, the last thing I wanna mention is your login credentials and settings. Now, if you go to the top left corner of the Cinemaker Director Studio, you'll be able to log in, access your account, upgrade if you want to, and of course, be able to change any settings that you feel are relevant to you. Feel free to geek out and just uh, spend some time there. Anyway, see you in the next video on how to connect and control all the different camera angles and devices.